and welcome to this very special chat we have with us the Ford Global CEO Mr. Mark Fields here at a very momentous occasion for Ford India because this is their second plant uh, and uh, launched the Aspire. Uh, so thank you very much for talking to Bloomberg TV. Uh, I would like to first of course get your comments about your quick second visit to India, the commitments, the kind of uh, expansion plans that you've spoken about, the export uh, uh, big push. Uh, mm -hmm. Take us through what is exciting and what are your uh, bigger plans uh, that we'll see. Well first off it's always exciting to be back in India and I love coming here mainly for the people because there's always so much energy when I come to India. I leave with more energy always than when I come with it here and, and that's because of the folks, uh, the people that are here. So we're here today, we're inaugurating our new plant and I think what this demonstrates is our commitment to India. We're investing for growth, uh, we're doubling our capacity with this new plant uh, we're also now basing India as an export hub as well as satisfying domestic demand. We're adding jobs. We're adding 2,500 jobs. So our employment here in the country in total will go over, over 14,000 uh, uh, great people. Uh, we're expanding our product lineup with our new Figo Aspire. And we're building our product development capability here. So it's a big day for Ford uh, uh, and a big day for Ford in India, and we couldn't be more pleased. Sure. Uh, you know... Looking at Ford, you've been on now over 20 years, uh, Mark, and just having a reality check, mm -hmm. quite frankly, you've really not got the market share you wanted. You talked about eight new models coming out uh, you know, in the next couple of years. I don't think you're going to go anywhere near that. So I think it's been a bit of a, uh, a, a, a tough, not a disappointment, but mm -hmm. I think it's been pretty tough going in India. So I know the past is the past, but uh, going forward, what are the challenges? Let's talk about the challenges in this market, because 20 years... Your market share should have been a lot bigger than it is now. Well, I think overall, when you look going forward, and we tend, I look forward, I don't look back. And when you look at where we're heading with the company, we're going to launch three products in the next 12 to 18 months. We're making a commitment. I mean, you're here in a billion-dollar plant. So we're showing that we're making the commitment to India for the long term going forward. So we're going to add more products. Uh, we're going to grow our share. Uh, but when you look at where we are as a company, I think one of the great opportunities here uh, the Indian consumer is one of the most discerning uh, and demanding consumer in the world. Yeah. And that's great for us because when we can come here and compete and win like we're doing with our EcoSport, uh, we can transfer that around the world. So I think the greatest challenge and the greatest opportunity is really satisfying the Indian consumers, and I think we're up for it. Any internal timelines that you've set out uh, to say that, you know, you want to be number one, two, three in the Indian market? You're, of course, as... Or any commitment of market share, because you talked about commitment. We, right. we want to grow. Uh, we we want to grow, and we want to do it in a methodical way. Uh, we don't want to just lay out uh, big sales goals in front of us and... and, and, and maybe take actions which are not good for the brand longer term for that, but we absolutely want to grow. Products like our Figo or Spire are going to positively impact our sales. They'll positively impact our share. The three products we're going to introduce in the next 12 to 18 months will do the same. So we're going to take the long view here, and we're going to grow the business, and we want to grow our market share. Making India is one big thing that everybody is, you know, very excited about. You also mentioned you want to participate in a big win, the Making India plan of the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. uh, the export plans uh, from this car and more cars that will come, where uh, where does that stand and how much and what countries would we look at when you when you start exporting from here? Well, we're actually a, a, an exporter today from India. Obviously, with our EcoSport and our plan in Chennai, it goes to over 37 countries. But our, our vision is in the next five years, we want to triple our exports and export to over 50 markets. And we think with the workforce that we have here, the quality, the cost, we can, be, can be, we can be competitive anywhere in the world. So you're going to see us continue to grow our exports, and we're going to make Ford India as an export hub for us. And one globe strategy, one Ford strategy that you've spoken about, how will that play out for the Indian market? Well, basically what it allows us to do is introduce new products into the marketplace faster. So the Figo Aspire is based off our global B-car, uh, what we call our platform, and we've tailored it for Indian uh, tastes. It's sub four meters, which is what Indian consumers want, also meet the, meets the tax laws. So you'll see us introduce products quicker because of our one Ford plan. Your localization levels are still about 70 odd percent if I take on an average. Where does that C grow? Because when you say make in India, you are also involving a lot of auto component suppliers. Mm -hmm. Where does that go? Well, the localization of our parts is very important. We've made a lot of progress. Uh, we still have more to do, so I think what you'll see us going forward is doing more localization, 
working with more local uh, and domestic supplier partners to allow us to uh, improve that localization. Sure. Just talking about your product strategy, you've introduced the Aspire, the 562, you've got uh, two cars coming off this platform. Are we going to see an end of legacy products, which you had the Figo, the 517, which was on an older Fiesta, and the 376, which was a classic on an older platform. So are we going to see now more modern cars, cars which are more globally aligned, and the end of legacy products from Ford? Well, I think anywhere in the world, legacy products are, 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 are on their way out. And the reason for that is consumers around the world have access to the internet. They can see products being introduced in other parts of the world. I lived in South America for a number of years, and I saw that phenomenon. So going forward, I think what you're going to see, first off, from the, the consumers and the Indian consumers, they're going to demand the best, and they should demand the best, and the best quality and the best technology. So our approach going forward is you're going to see new product introduced into the marketplace. No well, I think we'll phase those out over time, but right. the major emphasis of us is going to be new products so that when we're introducing it here in India, we're introducing in the rest of the world at the same time. And strategically, you know, you focused on the B segment, the small cars. Now, obviously, you want to take your, make your brand aspirational. Uh, are you just focused on that? You've got nothing, uh, you know, you've got, a, you've got an endeavor selling very small volumes, nothing above that. So can we see you looking at the C segment because possibly that is an area, even from a brand point of view, you've got some good products like the Kuga, mm -hmm. which could fit in well in certain segments. Could we see that once you've established this, you would look, that would be the next phase? Well, we're always looking at the market. We're looking at the segment trends and we're looking at what opportunities that we have to offer the products, but also make a good uh, a business case for introducing those products. But you'll continue to see us to do that. Obviously, the B segment, I mean, B, B cars are a million units in the market today. It's about a third of the marketplace. So clearly, we want to be where the biggest part of the market is. But you'll see us continue to look at the market, look at segments, and make decisions going forward on that.